go. Hi there. Hey, Tom Boyer and Chase here with IR Tools. Good to see you guys. So we want to tell you about our new upright thermal material. So we're so excited because this is a long time coming. The upright thermal film makes it so much easier to do training with thermal targets. So the upright thermal film makes it so that you do not anymore have to lean back your thermal targets to be able to see. So many of you at a range and you had to always go out and adjust your targets just so people could come and shoot with thermal. Well, that is no more. So now we've got upright targets. What's it like, Chase, oh, shooting upright thermal targets? Yeah, so the difference is uh, clear. <laughs> the contrast is, is very plain. Uh, so basically, like Tom said, because you don't have to angle the targets anymore, whatever target system you're using just works. And the simplicity there cannot be understated. But the really cool thing is, not only did we increase the usability with not having to angle the, the uh, thermal film anymore, but the contrast is absolutely outstanding. So even though it's not a powered system, being able to just put on the, the upward thermal film on your target backer, on your board, on whatever it is that you're using to shoot with your thermals, it's really nice. But again, that contrast, super crisp and clear. Uh, and yeah, that can be accentuated obviously with uh, like some of our target packs here as an example. You see the upright thermal film in our uh, upright thermal zeroing target kit. And that does come with, well, you can see it over here, it does come with a heater. And so not only does the contrast on the upright thermal film fantastic, but if you're in a unique environmental situation where maybe thermals in general aren't performing as well as they possibly could, then you can always put that heater on there and you're gonna get a really, really well-defined uh, thermal zeroing spot, which is just you know, super helpful to ensure that you're getting a really precise zero, which is obviously very important. So one of the things we wanted to do with these thermal targets, with the upright thermal, is to also make a target that you could shoot off angle because that's always been difficult. So yeah. Chase, I know yeah. you've tried to shoot off yep. angle, and so did we do it or what? Yeah, so that is actually a really good point, is you can't always get perfectly squared up to your targets, especially in a realistic training environment, or as realistic as we can make training. So the great thing about having that upright thermal film is again, you probably set your target backers up ahead of time to be able to see at multiple angles because most likely if you're working on training and improving your skill, you have something that you're doing. And the upright thermal film works really well in comparison to other competitive products. Again, it just goes back to like getting that really sharp contrast even at angles. And again, because of the way the film's designed, it works at an upright angle and it works off angle extremely well. In fact, the only thing I've ever seen that's comparable to it is our powered targets which is an entirely different class of target. So the, the fact that it works similarly with being unpowered, I think is kind of pretty cool. So the, actually that's a really good question, Chase, because we've had some questions in the past with our powered targets. Yeah. And so we had wanted to improve them as well. Yep. So how did the upright target, upright material affect the power target? Did those get better too? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a great point. So I, I totally forgot about that. Thank you. So uh, when we included the upright thermal material on the powered target. So that already had a really, really great contrast. Again, because it has that powered heat source, it's re pretty much regardless of environmental conditions, it stands out super well. Uh, but adding the upright really took it to a ne the next level where I remember the first time I saw it through thermals, it's just, you're like, whoa, it's a whole new world. It, it just, because it was already an impressive product, but you're just like, whoa. And, and we got it, I believe, all the way to 89 degrees. I was still able to get resolution. Right. Still got it's contrast. Yeah, still get contrast on it once yeah. we had that, that uh, upright thermal film included on the powered thermal target, which was impressive. I mean, literally, you're one degree off of being parallel to, to your target, and you're still able to get contrast on 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 the image, uh, whatever's on the on the you know printed on the target. So that's that was super helpful. And again, that's going to come into play not just when you're getting offline, but also up high angle, high and low angle shooting. For instance, you know when you're going onto mountains and that kind of stuff, uh, mountainous environments, whatever the case may be, that's going to be super helpful. And that's where I think our power thermal targets are really going to come into play. You know, with end users who are working on either the long range or, like I said, high angle shooting all that kind of stuff. These power thermal targets are really gonna be helpful there. Um, so yeah, that's that's our uh, upright thermal film and some of the applications we have with it. Tom, where can they find it? So you can buy these on our website and you can buy them on Amazon very easily. If you just go on and do a search for IR tools, thermal targets, they'll all be there. Come to our website and we've got everything there. There you go. All right guys, thanks for watching. Train hard, live free. See you next time. Right. Thanks, bye now.